welcome to the driver's seat. Despite some updates to the front and rear end of the Dodge Dakota, it's still a wallflower and a sea of mid-size pickup trucks. The Dodge Dakota's claim to fame is that it is the only pickup truck in the segment to offer a V8 engine. For 2008, Dodge is offering a new 4.7 liter V8 engine in the Dakota that produces 302 horsepower and 329 pound-feet of torque. Both stats blow away the competition in the segment, but is that what a mid-size pickup truck is all about? For 2008, the Dakota has received a facelift and will be offered in two body styles, extended cab and crew cab, and six trim levels, ST, SXT, SLT, TRX4, Sport, and Laramie. Good luck trying to figure out the product mix for this truck. Pricing is all over the place, ranging from a low of $20,000 to a high of $35,000. Dodge is trying to convince itself that the Dakota appeals to younger buyers who lead a more active lifestyle. Really? I don't see many young buyers driving the Dakota, unless that's all that they can afford. Toyota seems to have cornered the market on making a cool mid-sized truck. Where the Dakota stands out is in their top models with V8 power, but at that point, you might as well look at a genuine full-size truck from Ford, GM, or Toyota where you get more bang for the buck and where manufacturers put most of their incentive dollars anyway. There is nothing earth-shattering about the Dakota's ride, its interior, or its exterior. All are relatively plain and do nothing to strike emotion with drivers. I wish I had more to offer, but I quite simply cannot find many compelling reasons to pull the trigger and buy a Dakota.